show you a tutorial on how to make your virtual room using Google Slides. I know a lot of you have a lot of background information about Google Slides and you have a great knowledge of it, but I'm hoping this can give you some other tips and tricks to make your room uh, look amazing and have lots of links to different uh, materials that you'd like to share with me and the rest of the class. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to Google Classroom look under the assignments in um, classwork and then you will find the template which will open up and look something like this like my screen here and you've got a couple options for the background what I've done is I have given you plenty of uh, different options under layout so if you go here to layout you will be able to find a whole bunch that I've curated that you can just click and put in right away uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick one different ones so you can see. So here's a new one. Uh, the other option is if there's something you really want to add that's not under uh, my layout tab here, you can right click with two fingers and click um, change background and then from there you can either choose an image and search the web for it or um, make it a color, but I suggest choosing an image that looks like a room already or just choosing one of the layouts that I have previously selected for you. So the first thing we're going to do is add some elements to our room. So I was thinking we could add a couch. So the first thing we're going to do is go insert image and then search the web. So as we know, as we learned in class, this is going to do a Google search within uh, Google Slides for us and it's a safe search which means that any images that you find are um, copyright free so you'll be able to use them without any um, issues. So I'm going to search for let's say I want a couch in my room and if you remember we've learned that if you add the .png at the end it's going to search images that have a transparent black background. You could also search for couch transparent but we'll just do PNG for now. <clears throat> As you can see this first one does have a background. You can see the shadows so that wouldn't be ideal. So we're going to keep looking for one that doesn't look like it has a background. So I'm going to click on this one here. It's quite extravagant but we'll put it in our room. So there it is. It shows up up here. I'm going to drag it down uh, to a better location. You can also uh, stretch by pulling on the corners, holding down your mouse and um, clicking and pulling up or down. Uh, you could also make it longer if you just click on this side one. Um, I'm going to resize it again to here. So that's good. Um, if I want to add a bookshelf, again, insert image and search the web. So let's say I want a bookshelf. Oops. And okay, there's lots with books on them, but if I want to put things on, I think this empty one is a nice one. I'm going to go to insert. Okay, it's a little small, so I'll put it down where I want it and enlarge it a little. Okay, move it over to the edge here. Great. Now, a little trick that you may not know about in Google Slides is that uh, when something is selected, so meaning it has the blue box around it, you can click on format options and if you go to recolor you can actually change the color of objects so if you don't like that brown bookshelf you can make it blue for example um, if we want to match the couch to it you just click over to the couch and you can recolor that to match so now we've got matching furniture which is nice I think another thing we should add is potentially a window so I'm going to go to insert image search the web and I'll leave my PNG and type uh, window frame, enter. So there's a few here, there's blue, maybe that's too much blue. Let's try this one. I'll go insert. All right, and we know this one is transparent because I can see my bricks behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'll resize it and I'm gonna put it here behind the couch. Maybe stretch it a little. Now as you can see it looks like my couch is behind the window so what I need to do is do a right click or a two finger click on my window and go to order and send it right to the back. So now you can see it's behind the couch. So now we need something to view out of our window so I'm going to go to insert image 
And if you have an image you want to upload, you can always do that. For this, we don't need a PNG. It's just a regular image. So I'm just going to Toronto skyline because we live in Toronto. Why not? All right. That looks like a nice sunny day. Uh, we'll go insert. So now what we're going to do is if we drag this over our window, uh, it's going to block our window. So what we need to do is we can stretch it to fit exactly in our window frame. You can pull it, push it, whatever you need to do to make it fit in there. And then again, I'm going to do the right finger, uh, sorry, right click or two finger click and go to order and send to back because it needs to go right to the back. And there it is. So now well, I can adjust it a tiny bit. There we go. Um, so now it looks like your window has a background. So that's great. So now what we need to do is add some elements that we can link to outside things. So I was thinking it would be awesome if those video games that you made could be linked within the room that you create. So maybe if we go search for a uh, video game controller or something along those lines that we could link our game to. So people know when they click that it's going to be for a video game. So um, game controller and dot PNG again. All right, so this one looks good, classic. Insert. Okay, it's a little large, so make it a bit smaller. Uh, even smaller maybe. We can put it on our shelf. So now if I want people to be able to click on that and go somewhere, let's say I want them to visit the Lord Lansdowne Library website, for example, when they click on this. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that that's the item that is highlighted, meaning it's got the blue box around it. I'll go to insert. I'll go to link. And now I will type in my um, my URL, or you can paste it in, or whatever, wherever you have it. Um, LLC, this is our uh, library website. I'm gonna click apply. It applies it. So you can double check to make sure it works by clicking on that, and it, it will take us directly to the library. So then what you'll do basically is just continue adding things. I'm gonna ask that you add at least three linked things. So it could be videos, maybe you've been creating things at home or projects or something that you would like to share with us uh, to be linked into your classroom. So at least three things, please, to be added. And um, so what I'm also gonna ask is if you would like, you don't have to. Um, I had a Bitmoji in mine, as you saw in the examples. You can use uh, that. You, you're gonna need the app on an uh, iOS device or um, an Android device to be able to create your avatar, but I know several of you have avatars in other programs that you could potentially drop into here so that you can tell it's your room, or you don't have to. You don't have to add people if you don't want to. Um, so just add at least three items you can click on. I'll show you now how you're going to share this. So if you are finished and you've added your at least three elements, you've added your avatar, you've got everything that you want, you're going to go to File. And this is where the magic happens right here. Publish to web. This doesn't mean that you're publishing it for the world. It just means that um, it's going to give you a link to make it accessible for people to view. So I just leave all these settings the same and click publish and you click OK. And then it's going to um, generate this link. So this is the link for your um, preview mode. So it's so when people open it, it doesn't look like um, this with all of these options up here. Instead, I'll show you. I just copied it. I'm going to put it in a new tab and paste that in and hit return. <clears throat> so now we can see our classroom um, fully done. It's a bit larger. It looks great. And when I hover over um, my video controller, I can click on it and it will take us to the virtual library website for Lord Lansdowne. All right. So now we can see the library site. And when we go back to our virtual classroom, 
There we have everything set up and we're good to go. And just a reminder again to do file, publish to web. When you go back there, if you've already done it, the link is still there and the link doesn't change. And even if you decide, oh, I want to get rid of my couch or I want to change something, those changes will be reflected on um, the publish to web link um, as you change them. So this link doesn't change. And regardless, if you make changes on here, it will update itself on the publish to web version. So have a wonderful time creating. I'm excited to see what you all come up with with your rooms, your virtual rooms. I apologize I keep calling them virtual classrooms. It's because that's what I've been working on with teachers and showing them how to do that for the last little while. So whenever I say classroom, I mean room. And uh, enjoy. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I miss you all very much and looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.